Black Hawk. Family owned and operated Black Hawk Golf Club has been a player's favorite for years. The rolling terrain, mature trees, and well-maintained greens at Black Hawk give every golfer all they can handle. Isn't it time you came back to the best golf value in town? Black Hawk Golf Club, taking tee time seven days a week. Call 740-965-1042. The value of my education at Columbus State has actually appreciated just like a home would. My mom wanted me to go to a four-year school and I wanted to go into real estate. So the compromise was Columbus State and their two-year program. I thought that was a win-win for both of us. I think it was a great campus to go to and to watch how it's grown over the years, it's only gotten better. The most valuable asset that I have is my education, thanks to my mom and my choice to go to Columbus State. Need more practice to improve your game? Now you can with Almost Golf's Point 3 Practice Ball. The Point 3 provides true flight feedback, travels only one-third the distance, and is safe to play anywhere. It's a great simulation of the reaction off the club face, and that's what I love about it. The Point 3 can turn your backyard, park, or schoolyard into your own practice range. Practice made fun for the whole family. It works exactly like a regular golf ball, and you can shape it right, you can shape it left, and it does whatever you want it to do. Buy the ball that makes practice fun and easy. The best practice ball ever. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks to the support of the USGA and other leading golf organizations, the First Tee has helped more than one million kids learn lasting values through the game of golf. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Get involved today and support the First Tee. It's more than a game. Okay, so who shot nothing but 60s in all four rounds of a U.S. Open? It was golf legend Lee Trevino. I knew that answer. I hope you did, too. I'd like to take the opportunity now to introduce you to the head golf pro here at the Country Club at Muirfield, Josh Manning. Welcome to the show, Josh, and thanks for having us. Thank you, Jerry. And I understand to your left is one of your star pupils? Yes, absolutely. Uh, today I have Aaron Siekman with me. Uh -huh. uh, he played in the AJGA event uh, last week here at the Country Club, uh, tied for fifth place, uh, shooting a pair of 67s at the finish. Uh, he's one of our uh, star pupils out at the Country Club. And, uh, you know, one of the greatest things about the Country Club is our junior program and sure. how, how strong it is. And, and one of the things that uh, we've been able to do is send kids to Ohio State and Wake Forest and Virginia Tech and Northwestern and OU and Bowling Green, just to, just to name a sure. few. So no Michigan uh, guys? Uh, <laughs> not that I can, actually one, but uh, he didn't end yeah, up playing <laughs> golf. So um, what we thought we would do today is uh, grab Aaron here and go through some of the skills of a greenside bunker. Beautiful. Hop down there, Aaron. All right, Josh, school us here. Okay. When you're practicing greenside bunker shots, one of the great uh, tips that I have for everybody is behind this golf ball, Aaron's going to be pointing to a spot about an inch and a half, two inches behind. Why not go ahead and draw a line in there? That way, when you're practicing, you can tell where you're entering and exiting the sand. The other thing is that we see Aaron do is that he does not try to lift this golf ball out of the bunker. He, he takes a nice swipe, goes down and, throw, and tries to throw the sand up on the green side um, with enough force. All right, Aaron, let's see if we can hit Here that spot. <laughs> Beautiful. Really good. Very, Very good, good rhythm, and you can see where he hit his, entered his spot right at the line. So, you know, guys, when you guys, gals, when you're when you're trying this out, really allow that line to come right across. That way, you know, you can draw a line and hit golf balls right in front of the line each time. And that way, you get a little extra practice in. Very good. Consistent, huh? Very consistent. Yeah. Yes. You know, we've been working for about 10 seasons now on this swing and you know he hits all the shots and I get to dictate uh, what's happening but he's a he's a great young player with a lot of talent and uh, you know maybe he'll be on that list I don't know about Michigan because his dad's from Ohio State. No. Yeah. <laughs> no Michigan for me. <laughs> well, I want to say, too, a lot of times people get into the sand and it's just up in their head. Psychologically, they just kind of lose it because they're in the sand. And yet, really, practice properly, it's not that tough of a shot, no, is not it? not at all. No, it's not. And, Jerry, the thing that most people don't know, you're not even trying to hit the golf ball when you hit a bunker shot. Right. You're actually trying to let the, let the force of the club slide underneath the ball, and the sand is what actually 
the force of the sand is actually what tosses it up onto the green. So it's the only shot in golf where you're actually not trying to hit the ball.